Hello, and welcome back. In this episode, I've picked up a head cold, so you need to excuse my voice. Today we leave Birdsville, and we head for Inaminka, 424 kilometers away. A few weeks ago, actually a few days ago, this road was impassable. The Diamond Tower River uh, was up and flooded. These gates were closed, and you couldn't get across here. Luckily that's all died down and we're on our way. So let's see where we get to today. Still some water in there, Dave. Man. I'm sure that doesn't happen that often. No. Or well, maybe it does. I don't know. I have no idea. So this is the river that was up and cut Birdsville off from the rest of well, the rest of the south of this country. Mm. Luckily she's dropped now and we can get across. So we've run into an issue. We wanted to go down Cordillo Downs to Inaminka, but Sign says it's closed. That doesn't help us, Dave. No, not at all, Sean. Um, we might have to replan what we're doing. I just went back and spoke to the cop in Birdsville. He informs us that we can get use the Cordillo Downs Road. We just have to cross over to the Queensland side further down. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we'll get to Inaminka. Birdsville track straight ahead. And we're going down the Birdsville Developmental Road. So good news Dave, we can get through. Great, let's give it a try anyway. We'll try our best. Okay. All right, let's go. It's a big road train coming my way, so I'll just pull off the track way off and let him cross. Only a wee little truck. We're riding on these corrugations, I'm doing 100 plus, and what I've noticed, they've actually shaken both of my mirrors loose. So I tried fixing them the first time and they both come loose again, so I'm gonna unwind them. No mirrors. Oh, my top speed's gonna increase by about five now, I reckon. Wow, just look at all the water out here. You can see why the roads were cut off. The water's drained away now, but it's just everywhere. A few days ago, this would have been over the road and this would have been impassable. We've got to make sure that we don't hit any soft sections. Dave's made it through, so chances are I can. Here we are at the border, back into South Australia. Sure don't run to Dave. Welcome to South Australia. Uh, it look like you're set up well. Yeah, we're, we're not like, we're not, nah. We're camping in pubs, got the bikes on a trailer. Some of the roads out here are still pretty damaged by the wet. This road here, just a second ago, I was sitting on 115-ish, a little bit more maybe. And then it turns to this, so you really have to look ahead. Anything that doesn't look flat and smooth, slow down because you come into this too quick and you're in a world of hurt. Just stay here, make sure Dave's okay. Here he comes. The road's really turned to slop now. Well, just trying to get through. Come on baby, through this mud. Oh, these tracks are boggy. These tracks are real boggy. Hopefully it clears up soon. I think we're coming up to another old set of ruins. Another old house, homestead. Something from, wow, 100 plus years ago. Oh, stole the bike. Guess that means we get off and walk. How cool is this, Dave? Wow. This is the old farm, you reckon? Well, it's called an outstation, so maybe it's a sort of second residence on the station. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. It's a fairly substantial house. Yeah, it's amazing. Look at the like pointing on that. 
Whoa, that would have been... Wow. So maybe it was quite an expensive house. Yeah. Oh, how cool is that, Dave? This would have been a big house. Yeah. Another section of road that's boggy. Just managed to skirt around this one. It's a little bit slow going today compared to what we were planning. So, whoa, whoa, slippy. Hopefully we can make it to Inaminka. In the distance you can see some dust and a little speck. That's Dave on the 990 trying to keep up. Just let him catch up here so he doesn't feel too left out. So Dave, where do you think we are? Uh, do you want to think we're somewhere along this road? We're aiming for our next stop at Quadillo Downs. And I don't know, I think maybe we're 20 or 30 k's out from there. Oh, well, that sounds good. I'd like to get to there and have a break maybe. Yeah, I agree. Wow, this place is great. Cordillo Downs, South Australia. The Woolshed. Dave's got some sardines on his wrap. That's my signature meal. I don't like sardines, so I'm having air and sunshine in my wrap. Mmm, look, I'm a vegan. It's my turn to get the gate. Just had our lunch stop. And we're on our way to Inaminka. Here we are at the intersection where our plan was to turn right and go to Inaminka. That's still flooded. So we're gonna go left, go to Araby, and then head south, and still get to Inaminka somehow. Let's see how that works out. We've had to cross back into Queensland to get down to where we wanna go on Inaminka. continues. Find our camp. Dave's navigation is working. Inaminka, 155 k's. Why does that sound so far away? I'm pretty tired today. Still got a fair way to go. Oh, nearly dropped the bike. I am tired. There goes Dave. Just got to follow that dust for another 155 kilometers and maybe we'll get a meal. Look at that. Came all the way through the desert without seeing a camel and here they are. Cheeky buggers, I was looking in the desert for you. You're hiding out here. Just here admiring all these beautiful beasts. And then there's just that beast. Dave, we went all the way through the desert looking for camels. I know. Little did we know they're on their way to Inaminka. <laughs> yeah, I got pretty close to them, but... Yeah, I know, your musky smell must have... I think it was that. ...hidden your humanness. I do smell worse than a camel right now. <laughs> I can vouch for that. Well, I was pushing my bike to see how big the reserve is. Hey, Sean. Hey, Dave. Did you find the bottom of your tag? I'm very close to it. It's starting to surge now, so... Reserve is at least three litres. I think there's another litre in there, but starting to surge, so I didn't want to run the fuel pump dry. Just transferring some fuel from my bladder. Because apparently trying to keep up with a 990 costs a lot of fuel. Dave, you're consulting the map. Is this a good sign? No, the sign's really bad, so that's why I have to use the map. Dig tree. Oh, okay. So, do you know where we are? I do, yes. Okay, are we going the right way? Yes, we are. Will you get me to Indominka before dark? Yeah, I think so, yes. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm happy then, Dave. I'll do what I can, Sean, and I continue to do what I can. Uh, I, that's all you can do, and it's barely enough. <laughs> Dave and I were just doing a little bit of slipstreaming, but I uh, decided to stop that when the uh, large animals ran out on the road. The little CRF 300 is now back under our own steam and we continue.
that's enough writing for today, Sean. <laughs> I agree, Dave. Yeah. What's tomorrow got in store? Uh, I think pretty much the same. How oh, good. <laughs> I think I need a beer. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.